Hey guys, I'm gonna show you something and I'm gonna warn you right now, you might not like it, but we're gonna do it anyway. So we are going to convert this repeating decimal to a fraction. I've done lots of videos like this. If you're not familiar with the process, you might wanna check out one of those videos first. I'll link a playlist for you, but we're also gonna do it here. So when I am converting a repeating decimal to a fraction, the first thing I'm gonna do is just set it equal to a variable. So I'm just gonna say x equals 0 0.99. This line above it signifies that the nines keep going literally forever, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. Now this is legal because we are doing it to both sides. So my equation stays balanced. So when I do that, I end up with 10 X equals when I multiply this side by 10, it moves my decimal place over one spot. So I end up with 9.9 .9 repeating. I can write two if I want. There you go. Okay. The next thing we do, is we are going to subtract x from both sides. But we need to remember what x equals. Remember from the beginning, we set 0.99 repeating equal to x. So I am going to subtract x from this side because we've got x's over here. From this side, I'm going to subtract the 0.99 repeating. Now, if you're like, wait, you're subtracting different things from both sides. I'm not because remember, in this scenario, we're saying they're equal to each other. So my equation is still balanced. All right, when I subtract that, I end up with 9x over here equals, well, guess what? Those repeating nines cancel out. And I end up with just 9 over here. And look what's going to happen, guys. When I solve for x, I divide 9 from both sides, and I end up with x equals 1. So we just proved mathematically that 0.9 repeating is equal to 1. If that makes you mad, I hear you. I'm ready for the comments if they come. <laughs> but there was the mathematical proof that 0.9 repeating is equal to 1.